you know, you have been really, really embraced by the hip hop community. And you've been on so many records. I mean, we can't even, you spoke about some of the people. I know you don't work with the Lil Johns of the world, Jermaine Dupree, Pastor Troy, obviously, um, rest in peace, Pimp C, 50 Cent, to name a few. After a while, was they calling you or did you have to reach out to them? Because you was doing intros, every, you was doing every, outros. Everybody called me. You know, after Jermaine Dupree, he came up to me, you know, but it all, let's not, let's be, let's backtrack. It didn't start from there. It started from Pimps Up, Hold Down. If you go look at Pimps Up, Hold Down, I'm on there said, barbecue a bill, do let your next move be your best move. And I said, I got more game than Van Kenny got poker be. I got more flavor down there. I don't need you to let the welfare bitch, bitch, you can't give me no scissors, keep it distant. I got to beat up my Peter, bitch, the long state. So I'm talking, rapping, I'm speaking bars then. So they always had an appetite. Man, I want to get that dude on my album, just like they want to get P.V. Kirkland on a um, they want to get other people in their videos, you know, because that represents the culture, you know, and I was the epitome of culture. I was the, I was modeling for Murray shoes. You got to remember, I was a model for Murray. I was in every magazine, you know, uh, it, uh, Pips Up, Hold Down had a billion views. So these guys were fans before they even met me. You know, it's just when I made myself accessible, the phone calls started coming in profusely and everybody wanted to work with Pip and Ken. 50 Cent paid me to be in PIMP video, you know, uh, all, I get publishing for all, all of these songs I've been on. So people seeking me out, you know what I'm saying? They they pers pers pursuing me now because, you know, I'm then I got independent people. I'm going to get 5,000 over here, 5,000. I've been on over 300 uh, independent albums. You know what I'm saying? I became yeah. an icon in that fashion. That's why, you know, we can do the things that we're doing today. Wow. You know, we spoke about Pimps Up, Holes Down a couple of times in this conversation. How'd you even get involved with Pimps Up, Holes Down? Uh, like I said, in 96, I went to Chicago to a player's ball, and I was talking the same shit I was talking now. And they wanted to uh, film me. I said, come to Milwaukee. I had a clothing store. When they came to Milwaukee, I negotiated with them. I negotiated that the film would end with me, that I would get my name on the credits and that they would pay me more than they paid everybody else. And that's what happened. Wow. You, so you made more than the Bishop Don Juan in that, in, in that film? I made more than everybody. I was a consultant. All of those parties, if you look at them, those are Milwaukee parties. Those are my parties. So I charged $100 to get in a party. I charged $2,500 for the table. So I made sometimes, and some of the parties I did, I made in excess to 100000 just from the party. But HO, HBO paid for everything. Okay, see, I didn't realize that all them parties was out in Milwaukee. Like, I remember the film now, very some well. Some of them was in Chicago, but, you know, if you look at the parties with me, the one in Pencil Holes Down in the American Cup, those are my parties. When I give Scorpio the trophy, that's in Milwaukee. You know, when they when the limousines pull up and all that bishop in the back of the limo, that's all in Milwaukee. That's my hometown. Gotcha. You know, some of the scenes were shot in Chicago. The Vegas scene, that was my party. I got paid for that party. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.